Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you are new on this channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Like the video. Uh, that's how you motivate me to continue making these videos and sharing, sharing with you the knowledge that I have regarding trading and forex in general. If you're looking to download stuff, forex robots, indicators, books and stuff like that, there are links in the description box below. Visit those links and see if you cannot find what you are looking for. Everything that we do on this channel is for free. So yeah, you can go ahead and download everything for free using the links in the description box below. The broker that I use, many people also ask me, they are one of the best brokers award winning and I've never had any problems with them regarding deposits and withdrawals for over five years now trading uh, with them. So go ahead and sign up with them using the link in the description box below. Okay, so let's get into today's uh, video. Unless you've been living under a rock, you are probably aware of the development that got uh, most traders. Many traders are panicking, many people are panicking after Apple dropped uh, MT4, MT5 apps from the App Store. Now people are panicking that I've seen people talking about the end of forex trading in general. I've seen people talking about uh, the uh, you need to move your monies from your broker because uh, you're going to lose your monies and uh, a whole lot of uh, things that are being thrown around. So in this video, I'm just going to try and help calm you down because that's what you need to do. You just need to calm down. Uh, it's not the end of your world as people are making out, making it out to be. This is not the end of the world. I've seen even people talking about the end of trading. This is not the end of trading. So a quick background. Uh, what what just happened? Of course, uh, uh, over the weekend, um, uh, Apple just decided to remove a Meta, the MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 apps from the App Store. They are still available on Google Play Store. You can still download them for PC and your broker might still be using the platform uh, just like what I have here. Of course, I've heard uh, that some US brokers have started already uh, dropping uh, MetaTrader 5 and some have even dropped uh, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 altogether. The reasons there is still a lot of uh, speculation out there because we don't exactly know why uh, what you are ha having out there is still speculation the biggest speculation is that it has to do with what with the uh, war in ukraine uh, what has been happening with russia and ukraine as you would know in case you did not know MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 are owned by a company called MetaQuartz, which uh, I think lay, uh, recently, maybe uh, before the 2020s, uh, that's how recent, but let's say recently, it moved its headquarters to Cyprus. I think it had once moved to Switzerland or some point, at some point, but now uh, yeah, they are now in Cyprus. But originally, originally they are a Russian-based technology company. They are they are originally from Russia, and even their executives are Russian. So it might be because of a, a broad uh, political sanctions against uh, Russia and everybody linked to what has been happening in that uh, part of the world, uh, because there are accusations that uh, some of the top guys at MetaCourts, the company that owns MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, have been allegedly involved in moving monies for some of the uh, big guys in Russia uh, to move the, to help them move their monies. So it might be why. It might be why. Because it's still speculation. Then I also read from Forbes if you are going to believe whatever Forbes uh, says. According to Forbes, they take credit for that actually. They say it's because of an article that they wrote which, in which they exposed how uh, a, 
I think a US citizen was scammed by people who were using uh, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 or something like that and they lost a lot of money because these people were manipulating what uh, trades and see and to seem like this guy they were making money for them and they would uh, show them profits and stuff like that and this person lost a whole lot of money with them so Apple being Apple and wanting to protect Apple users Apple users so they decided to what to ban or to suspend or to drop uh, the MT4 MT5 apps for now so uh, that's according to Forbes uh, you, if you talk to other people there is another reason so there is a whole lot of speculation uh, out there Metacodes has not yet said anything about this Apple themselves have not said anything really tangible about this so everything out there is still a uh, speculation now is it time to panic I've had I've seen people saying uh, Go ahead and, and move your money uh, because you're going to lose your money when they when they uh, drop meta meta trader four meta trader five and stuff like that guys first of first of all you your money does not reside with meta courts your money is not on the meta trader four meta trader five platform your money is with your brokerage you should be worrying about your broker not about metatrader 4 metatrader 5 if you are worried about your money be worry about your broker metatrader 4 metatrader 5 is just a platform metatrader 4 was introduced in 2005 metatrader 5 uh, was introduced in 2008 2009 2010 between there they are just platforms that you can use to, to place trades and stuff like that but your money does not reside on the platform it resides with your broker so people who are out there telling people that uh, you should be moving your money because your money is not safe or because they are banning meta trader 4 meta trader 5 they are selling you rubbish secondly i've seen people talking about the end of forex trading as a whole because they banned uh, meta trader 4 and meta trader 5 on ios by the way it's still one platform we are yet to see how google is going to uh, to react because google owns what the play store android so we do not yet know what's going to happen with uh, google but it's not yet the end of the world as people are trying to make it uh, to be first of all we are not going to see the end of forex trading this is not the end of forex trading if they even if they manage to take the to 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 close meta courts and to stop meta trader 4 meta trader 5 altogether it doesn't mean the end of forex trading as an industry why because as long as the world still exists and as long as countries still use their own different currencies there is still going to be an exchange of foreign currency that's going to happen between economies which is what we call forex trading it's basically changing the pound for the dollar the dollar for the yen and stuff like that as long as we do not yet have a single world currency a single world economy we are still going to exchange currencies between economies between different countries and forex foreign forex trading is still going to be around this is not the end now should we be worried we uh, again i I'm, I'm saying there is no need to panic no need to panic what we just have is a situation where apple i store has just stopped we are yet to see what's going to happen with the other us based tech giant which is google which owns uh, uh, basically behind android and which owns the uh, google play store we are yet to see what's going to happen with them as far as uh, as of now as of making this video the apps are still working on uh, android and even on apple they are still working there so don't try if you're using uh, your iphone don't try to update or uninstall and stuff like that just keep them there they are still functioning as they should until your broker until your broker uh, takes them off and uh, until your broker moves away from uh, the metatrader 4 metatrader 5 uh, platform they still will be working to be able 
to be trading, uh, to be placing trades, to be with, uh, doing everything else. If you are worried about MetaTrader 4, there are still alternatives like C Trader and Trading View. Maybe it's time to learn those ones as well, just in case. Just in case. Otherwise, there is really, really no need for people to be panicking about this. Uh, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 may, might have been banned on the iPhone, but you can still trade on PC, like you have on my screen here. You can still go and download it from uh, the website if your broker doesn't have it. Or, uh, but if your broker is stopped uh, 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 using the platform, then obviously you can use the brokers either in-house. Most brokers have in-house uh, uh, trading platforms now. And also they are using TradingView and they are using CTrader and they are using a whole lot of other uh, platforms, trading platforms. Metacodes uh, had, had just dominated the industry. That's why people think MT4 and MT5 is forex trading. No, it's not. It's just a platform that uh, was so popular with uh, within the industry. It's like um, having what? It's like uh, people now believe uh, uh, you. You go in Africa. People uh, don't say uh, let's get uh, uh, sodas or soft drinks. People say let's go and get coke. Because Coca-Cola is most visible brand, so some people assume that uh, MT4, MT5 is trading. So if they remove MT4, MT5, trading stops. No, it doesn't. There are still many other platforms out there. So I just wanted to make this video to just say, don't panic. There's no need really to be panicking. No need to be panicking about this. It's going to sort itself out. Otherwise, guys, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.